problem. So we've got a 10 meter ladder and it's leaning against the wall and its base is sliding. So we're seeing, assuming the wall's straight up and there, you've got to write this down. Um, and the base is sliding away at one centimeter um, per second. So what do you notice straight away from the question? We might change this for a later, so just wait. And it's one centimeter per second. Now one thing I wanted you guys to point out is that that's meters and that's centimeters. I'm going to change this rate to um, 0 0.01 because one centimeter um, meters per second. So we're sort of consistent with our thing. Okay. Um, the next thing we need to do is probably draw. So we're going to have to label our sides. That's why I'm saying this might change. What have I labeled this by labeling it DLDT? What have I labeled the L base L, haven't I? Do, we, do you want to keep it as L or put it as L's X one. or something? L is one. Okay, good. So that's L, and that's something I've introduced. So you introduced it, okay? But you've introduced it in your diagram. And what are we going to do with the height? What are we going to, what can you do? H. H? H. Yeah, yeah just the height, okay? In the example of the book, it's that's X and that's Y, but the, the height, oh, so no, we need to find DH over This is actually good that you're thinking about that. DH so over DT. That's what we need to find, isn't it? Between that. So we're going to use Pythagoras, so it's going to be H squared plus L squared equals 10, um, 10, because that's the hypotenuse Ten squared, four. isn't it? Because that's Pythagoras. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, it's really good, I like this from... So we've got to go dh dt, so what we're going to do is we're going to get something in terms of h. So we've got h squared equals 100 minus l squared, and so h equals square root of 100 minus l squared. Why haven't I written plus or minus? Because it's a difference, so there is no minus. There is no minus in this case. Now you can put here that... Um, we're going to say that h has to be greater than zero. Yeah. We need to form a chain rule, don't we? Mm. Oh, yeah. So okay. let's form a chain rule. What are we going to form it in? So normally we have three variables, don't we? H, T, and L. H, T, and L. So we need to find this as well. So let's go ahead. Um, DH, uh, DT. DT. And what do we do? We go DH uh, over DT. Mm. And then we yeah. form our other two, don't we? It's just an easy way of doing it. So this is going to be DL. Oh, from deriving this, and this we have. Where do we have it? Up there. So let's do it. All right. So I'm going to go DH DL is equal. It's going to be negative L. So it's going to be negative L at the top of the fraction. So it's going to be negative L over square root of 100 minus L squared. Just manipulating using index laws. Let's go with blue. DH dt equals DH dl, well that's just that, minus L over square root of 100 minus L squared times dl dt, well that's just that, times 0.01. Now, also, it goes in, this part in red is, is for both questions. So find the rate which the height is changing, because and that's good, because that, it's a rate that will be changing. When the foot of is what? Six metres. Six metres. Well, we right. So, L is our foot, isn't it? So we can substitute in six. six. And we can substitute in six in here. All right. So dh dt equals minus 6 over square root of 100 minus 36, what's that? Um, times 0 0.00, no, no, I'm getting crazy with the zeros, 1. Um, square root of 64 is just 8, isn't it? So we can just get a number for this. It should equal, that would be a really easy calculator to work. Try it. It should be negative 0 0.0075. 0 and we've 
we've got units. What are our units? Uh, meters. So meters per mm. second. Because oh, second, we've already got seconds introduced here. Okay, so 